and welcome back to Two Sisters Homestead. So today I was going to go ahead and do the last video about my mobile home, like the process and what we've had to go through with the home and stuff like that. Um, this will be my last one. So anything after this, I just won't be making no more just because I'm done with it and really, you know, just done. But now I will show you different things throughout, you know, whenever I'm ready, like whenever I get the kitchen done, I will be showing y'all um, how that is. And, you know, of course, just you'll see it whenever we show our land and stuff like that. But with me talking about the process and stuff, that is probably it um, about what's been going on. That is, that's what I'm trying to say. So if you don't know, we, me, and my family have bought a five bedroom, three bathroom um, mobile home. We bought it through Love Homes here in Arkansas, but we, the manufacturer of the home is called Buccaneer Homes, which I've learned now is um, owned by Clayton, but it's just one of their sub things. Um, but Clayton still does own it. But here, I don't know where you are, but from where we are, it's hard to find any mobile home places that's not Clayton owned. That's just what you get. But the homes are getting so much better nowadays. They're not as like cheaply made and stuff like that as they used to be. Um, with our home, it's called the Tyra. And we were able to add an additional room instead of the family room. And we were also able to add another bathroom and make our pantry a walk-in pantry. So we were able to do all of that. Um, and then... We got sheetrock sheet on all of the walls um, and things like that. Um, and we got like real tile for the backsplash. And we've got a lot of custom things. So I think that's where all of our problems have possibly came from. However, some of the work that has been done has been said, you know, fr from different um, people who've come to try to fix things that somebody didn't do it correctly at all. And it should have never done what it did. So if you don't know, whenever we got our house at the lot to go look at, all of the tile have, on the backsplash had fell off and it ruined the countertops, the bar top, the dishwasher, the floor, and then there's cracks all over the home because if you don't know that, whenever you get a mo mobile home with it sheet rocked, they, there will come cracks. Um, so whenever they're supposed to do your trim out, they're also supposed to fix all your cracks. However, they didn't for us. Um, they just wanted to hurry up, get in and out, and be done with it instead of fixing everything like they were supposed to. Um, and then what else? We had no screens on any of our windows except for two or three. And then also we, what else was it? We, oh, my sister's bathroom and her bathroom, the um, bathroom faucet was leaking when we had just moved in. So there was no reason why it should have been leaking. So they fixed that recently and things like that. But it's still, I paid two hundred over $200,000 on this home. I expected to be how it's supposed to be and not anything. So we in we first got the home it um, took a long time for us to be able to move just because they wanted to make sure that it was all fixed before we were able to get into it that was love homes that was doing that just because they didn't want to give us a home that was unfinished however the process was taking a very long time and we really needed to move because we wanted to get out of the house we were renting and into our place so we didn't have to um, continue to pay for the monthly lease so we wanted it to hurry up, you know, and we were told that it would be done a certain time and then it was done a couple months after that um, and it was just, we were wanting to move in. And so they let us go ahead and move in without doing the backsplash because they had to order that without doing the countertops or the dishwasher because all this stuff had to be ordered. Um, and so we went ahead and said, okay, well, as long as y'all still come back and fix it, then we will um, want to move in. And we know that it's not you as Love Homes. We know that you did a perfect job because we loved, 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 loved our person um, who sold it to us. We loved her. Her name was Carrie. Um, and we had no complaints with them. It was all the complaints we have is because of Buccaneer Homes. So we been in our house since about March I believe so about four or five four or five months we've been here and nothing has gotten fixed yet so they did send out somebody like right before we actually moved in officially and it was a um, joke there's these two contractors that they had come 
they were all over the place they talked a lot um, and they just really didn't seem to get much done and they only brought one box of the backsplash tile which was a different color than what we originally had so the time that they spent putting it up wasn't even good because it just went nowhere because I mean eventually the has tile has to be taken down just because of it not being the right color it was like a light blue and ours is a cream so we had to just say okay whatever you know so we waited some more months and more months and more months and I kept on messaging the guy that I was supposed to be messaging at Buccaneer Homes and he would keep on telling me that oh you're we're gonna be sending out somebody towards the end of the month so I guess how they do it is they have these contractors in these certain areas who work these certain areas and they will give these contractors before they leave for the month they give them their whole stack of um, places that they're going to be going and what they're going to be doing and things like that well they um, he kept on saying, you know, he's going to keep on, he was going to give it to them. He's going to give it to them. They'll be there in a couple of weeks, stuff like that. Well, nobody had ever came. And it was really frustrating because we would be waiting. And we want our house put together. You know, we don't want to bring anybody to our house looking like it's half done. And they're like, what the heck? And stuff like that. We just didn't like it. And we wanted our home to be done correctly and how it was supposed to be done. So we kept on waiting. Well, recently I started getting more aggressive on my approach with them and them trying to get everything fixed just because I was done with it. There's no reason why it should be taking this long. So I contacted them and was like, you know, hey, our stuff still hasn't got done. Like what's going on and stuff. And he tried to give me the runaround a little bit, but he said the people before had, they had to fire them and they're looking to hire somebody else. However, it's hard to find contractors right now. And I said, okay, I understand that, but I have a contractor who did my septic tank and my water line and my power and all that stuff who could do it, but you could just have to pay them. And, but they said, nope, if they're not insured with us, we can't do it. And we're like, okay, well, what about um, the screens? Can you at least send the screens and we can pop them in? And they really didn't seem like they wanted to do that either. So I'm like, okay, well, is there anybody higher up that I can talk to? Because obviously, see, I'm not getting nowhere with you. You're saying that it's going to take a long time for a contractor to be hired because they're hard to find. So when will, you know, so I just need to talk to somebody else. And he was like, well, they're going to say the same thing as I did. And I said, okay, but I want them to hear how frustrated I am as well because this is not okay. I don't like this. I didn't agree to this. And if something doesn't happen soon, I'm going to be contact contacting a lawyer. Which, granted, I really didn't want to contact a lawyer because I don't want to waste my money on talking to a lawyer because, I mean, it's just a waste of my money and my time. And I didn't want to do that. So I wanted to try everything possible that I could before I had to go that route um, and stuff like that. So we went ahead and so I said that to him. And then after that, it seemed like things were progressing pretty fast. Um, the lady at Love Homes messaged us one day and was like, Hey, I was trying to check in and make sure all the repairs were done. And I told her. So the lady was like, hey, I just wanted to make sure that all the repairs were done and stuff like that. And how's it going? When? And I told her, um, well, unfortunately, you know, our repairs are not done. They've come out here once or twice. Didn't get anything done. And then I keep on getting the runaround. So she said there was no excuse for that whatsoever. She doesn't care what the reason that they said that she was going to contact somebody and get things taken care of. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And they can see on their end that it's just been a whole big mess that they haven't been doing anything that they're supposed to be doing. And whenever we actually were able to move into our house, the manager at that facility was upset because, you know, things weren't getting done like it was supposed to with this manufacturer. So we, so I waited a couple more days and the next thing I know, oh, we also got a thing in the mail saying that the smoke detectors, they weren't all grounded and, and it could possibly could be ours because ours was in the date that it was um when they were doing this stuff and not putting the right stuff on it so we were like okay so we had to call about that and then somebody came quick for that but then we waited a couple more days and then somebody came to finish our repairs finally i guess oh and i also made a google review i made a bad review saying i would never ever purchase a home from them again and things like that so i think all that combination helped them get on it faster so they have they already have a contractor he came out of Alabama I believe and he was fixing he came they sent him to come fix our home so he's been here since Tuesday or Wednesday and he's been fixing it and he 
been here every day since and he's coming back tomorrow and he's coming back on Tuesday because there's so much stuff that needs to be done and so it's just been a lot and it's been a long process and not being able to talk with somebody or not being able to do what we like get done what we needed to get done it's been really frustrating and I told Carrie like we have a property next across the street if y'all didn't know and I told her like soon we were wanting to get a mobile home on there as well possibly but I do not want another Buccaneer home but now finding out that they're Clayton owned I mean there's really no choice and it's all probably gonna be the same just because it's the same owner and so that kind of frustrates me and makes me want to thank on really what I want to do because I don't want to have to deal with these same issues like whenever I pay for a home and I'm making payments on it I want it to be done the way I want it to be done and it needs to be done whenever the house is done and so it's just a bit frustrating but I personally will not be going through Buccaneer Homes anymore I will be trying to use a different manufacturer and see if that helps any or not um, just because I don't want to have to deal with this anymore. It's just takes a toll on you and it's frustrating and having to talk to multiple different people all the time is frustrating and you send all these pictures and everything to everybody and nothing gets done, nobody cares. But I'm paying money on this home and if I just stop paying it, then what happens? Then that shows on my credit and things like that so I know a lot of people in the comments are saying stop paying and stuff like that well yeah that's easy to say however you know that's my credit that it will affect and also yeah I can go take it to a lawyer and I can probably get it disputed however that's more money that I have to spend that I don't want to be out of just because I don't want to waste that money um so yes so that is the update on that but we are we have been having somebody to come he has been fixing everything that he can um we do not have the right color screens because our windows are black so they did send white ones so they're not right so they have to take those back and order black ones and redo those and then the um the countertop by the stove is messed up too however they didn't send him with that countertop they only sent him with the the island countertop so he has to come back and bring that at some point um and then also somebody said in the comments that our skirting since it's metal is supposed to have ventilation on each side so it don't get moldy and things like that or the floor don't end up falling apart and so um he has said something about that like notice that we didn't have ventilation in it and he himself mentioned it and said no you're supposed to have that especially with this metal and he told us why and things like that so we are we told so he put that on the list too so at some point they're gonna have to come back and do that as well because they didn't do that correctly so it just seems like it's been a whole big mess from the time we got it from the lot all the way till now four or five months later which is honestly ridiculous now if you ask me should you use buccaneer homes i will say i personally do not want to use them anymore i will try my best to go to somebody else if i can't and so be it there's nothing I can do because I will eventually need a house over there so whether I build a house or get a manufactured home you know I don't know it just depends on what my money's looking like whenever I'm ready to be over there um, but I personally just I don't want to it's just hard because it's just been such a big mess and things like that and um, stress so I just wanted to let y'all know the little last update on everything. We're getting everything fixed finally. Um, and I hope that we don't have these problems anymore in the future if we decide to go this route. And before we do decide to go this route, I will make sure that they know that it was me who, you know, um, it's me again. And that I don't want my stuff to get messed up and they need to do it correctly this time. But if you are new here then I have other videos that I can link up to the top or I can um, share the playlist at the end of this video. At the end of this video of our house, how it looked before we got anything in it and before we moved in and things like that, just in case you were curious. Um, I do have quite a bit of videos of that and then our property as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video and enjoyed the little update that we had. I know a lot of you were asking and wondering um so i'm um, grateful that's getting fixed and if you don't mind please subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate